So today we're going to be having a look at the Connect Azure. Uh, I've just got it out of the box. I'm going to try a couple of tutorials and just get a feel for what it can do um, really quickly on my computer and then just going into the studio, having a play around um, and see what things are easy to do right out of the box. So first off, just testing at my desk. I've got lined up here a couple of different modes that the Connect can work in. It was really quick and simple to use the player index uh, to create some um, isolations of the body and composite that with a background um, that was quite straightforward and satisfying. So I was looking online and I came across a lot of people talking about the Connect Studio. Um, this seemed really useful for recording some movements so you didn't have to keep on standing up and wiggling around to see if something was working or not but the Connect Azure doesn't have um, the Connect Studio so um, I found this little program but um, it doesn't seem to do quite as much. So before using the Connect in the studio as an input, I tested out some body tracking effects just using a video. Um, so there's a different tutorials and a different way of working. So I thought I'd try that first and then uh, apply what I learned to the Connect. I used two methods to try and extract the body from the background. First off, just with levels. I also tried using cache to separate the body from the background. Um, this at first seemed brilliant, but uh, the way it works is that um, the cache is really just looking for any kind of movement in the scene, so if your background doesn't change then it's not going to pick that up. However, um, because the surfaces in my video were sort of a bit reflective, there was like shadows and reflections so that they also changed and that was also picked up, so it wasn't totally ideal. And I tried, uh, and once I'd captured this dancing figure, I managed to put it into the woodland scene and I also put it back into the original video trying to line the two up. To begin with in the studio I used the effect over a foresty background and then I overlaid the effect that I made on the original uh, connect input in the camera mode. I, I laid them up. That was a little bit fiddly trying to get the scale right. I managed to get it pretty much okay. Um, although the shapes of the player indexes can be a bit blobby. Um, and it would be nice to smooth it out a bit. Once I got the hang of things, I then experimented with, um, with the feedback, both with the edge and the player index. I looked at multiples of the, the same figure, uh, scale, looked at different colors, and mirroring. This was a really happy accident using the, um, the, the color part of the Kinect camera, along with the, the player index. Um, I had the Kinect facing the projection screen, so it created like an infinite um, kind of loop and uh, yeah, I think it looks really cool. It was fairly easy to make an effect using the Kinect skeleton data, using uh, a chop and instancing. So in this effect, each dot you see is a place that the, the Kinect identifies a body part on the X, Y and Z axis. And depending on where the Kinect is, I have to flip it around, it's more intuitive because sometimes when I moved my body to the left then the image would move to the right. It was still quite satisfying, but for it to be more intuitive, I think people would prefer it to follow exactly, more like a mirror. I followed a tutorial where I um, managed to get glowing balls in my hand. Um, this took about 20 minutes. I couldn't believe how easy it was. I was so happy and then um, this is something I'd definitely like to look into more. Um, I just quickly made up some oyster mushrooms uh, to go on my hands instead and put myself in the woodland uh, for fun, but this has definitely got a lot of potential. The first things I'd like to look at is to work on smoothing the edges of the body and if I can get the objects to tilt and maybe rotate, that would be good. So I'm really pleased with how straightforward and easy it is to use. Definitely going to spend a bit more time looking at this and coming up with some kind of more creative uses for it. I'm a little bit disappointed that it doesn't have as many features as the Connect 2. Uh, you can't do like um, gestures and things. Also, don't have access to the Connect 2 Studio, which is useful for recording. But I'm going to keep my eyes out and see if they've got any secondhand ones on eBay.